द मोस्ट डेंस मैटर दैट हैव कम अप इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ साइंटिफिक इन्वेस्टिगेशन इन एस्ट्रोनॉमिकल साइजेस इज समथिंग व्हिच हैज गॉट अ वेरी हाई डेंसिटी द डेंसिटी ऑफ अ बॉडी एफेक्ट्स इट्स ग्रेविटेशनल एक्सेलरेशन और ग्रेविटेशनल फील्ड वो समथिंग अनबिलीवेबल बिफोर द फिजिक्स एंड रिसर्च इन फिजिक्स लेडस थियरिटिकली टू सच कैलकुलेशन सो फार इन न्यूटोनियन मैकेनिक्स एंड न्यूटोनियन ग्रेविटेशनल स्टडीज वॉट वी हैव सीन इज द फोर्स ऑफ ग्रेविटेशन और द ग्रेविटेशनल फील्ड डिपेंड्स ऑन द मासिस ऑफ द टू बॉडीज एंड द इंटरमास डिस्टेंस दैट्स ऑल इट वॉज नॉट एट ऑल डिपेंडेंट ऑन द डेंसिटी ऑफ अ ग्रेविटेटिंग बॉडी वॉट हैपन्स इन केस ऑफ अ बॉडी विच हैज गॉट वेरी हाई डेंसिटी दैट मीन्स इट्स वॉल्यूम इज स्मॉल but mass is large that means its mass per unit volume is very high say for example i have a body here whose mass is m and whose radius is capital r and such that its density is very high that means i'm trying to say mass per unit volume is very high and suppose its uh, gravitational influence is very strong and so strong that within this gravitational influence if anything comes can hardly go back what all things can come physical objects with non zero masses if they get inside they won't be able to escape now the point of escape let's say the escape velocity from the surface of this is u then by the basic calculation of escape velocity which is root over of 2 gm by capital r 2 gm by capital r mass of the gravitating body radius of the gravitating body as the escape velocity from the surface of a gravitating body is let's say this now if light gets in if light particles move in light whose particles are photons with zero rest mass whose rest mass is close to zero but have a speed of c now with this speed if they get in and fall on this particular surface and if they try to escape back by reflection if light wants to reflect back what if this escape velocity is more than c what if this u is greater than or equal to c if the escape velocity would be greater than the value val of the speed of light then some strange calculations come up and they are something like this 2 gm by capital r greater than equal to c if a uh, squared of 2 gm by r greater than equal to c square when the c is equal to speed of light is of standard value 3 into uh, 10 power 8 meters per second now c square is a very large value in that case considering c as 3 into 10 power 8 meters per second then your calculation of c square is 9 into 10 power 16 meters square per second square and it's a tremendous value now see this if your mass by radius ratio exceeds c square by 2g c square by 2g then 
your escape is almost impossible you just cannot escape if your uh, escape velocity is greater than the speed of light you just cannot escape that means escaping from this body is impossible and light cannot reflect them no reflection is possible no light reflects back if u is greater than or equal to c if escape velocity needed is more than the speed of light light cannot afford that and that means no light reflects back and that means even if this body has mass has matter and light falls on this from several sides that light just disappears this implies incident light the incident light disappears the moment it falls on a black hole if it falls on a black body or a black Hole. light disappears and it appears dark this black hole or this black body this appears dark black and are not easy to spot or identify or locate then they also have a very high spinning angular velocity their spin angular velocity is extremely high and because of which they throw jets of electromagnetic energy they throw out jets of electromagnetic energy from their axial lines and these electromagnetic energies form the field lines which stream in through one end and stream out through the other ends and form huge electromagnetic radiation bands which are the only sources of locating these black bodies now the amount of radius that such a black body can have is called uh, or calculatable from this calculation and the mass per unit radius uh, for a certain body given its mass if its radius given a mass of a body as m then 2 gm by c square take this 2 gm by c square and radius of that body taken here 2 gm by c square if it is greater than or equal to the radius of the body the mass of the body is given let's say let's say by some means we can calculate the mass of that body then 2 gm by c square that exceeds the radius of that body then that can be classified as a black hole and such a radius is called as a Schwarzschild radius uh, this is written like this Schwarzschild radius pardon me if my spelling might have a mistake but this is what it is called uh, Schwarzschild radius just me, just let me check it down oh yes I have made a small mistake it is s-h-w-a-r-z s-h-w-a-r-z shores child radius this is this is the radius that belongs to a black body this radius should be less than this calculation given the mass of that body is known to us this is a mysterious field of physics studies i hope by understanding so far you would be interested in going ahead with this vertical of physics thank you for your patience and see you in the next chapter stay subscribed and stay revised